My name is Anthony Kim. I'm a vascular neurologist and assistant professor of neurology at the University of California, San Francisco. I'm pleased to present our recent article entitled, Rate and Predictors of Serious Neurologic Causes of Dizziness in the Emergency Department, which appears in the November issue of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. The practical clinical problem that we address here is the common symptom of dizziness. Uh, dizziness symptoms present a particular challenge for frontline clinicians in the emergency department because the symptoms are often difficult for patients to describe or pin down, yet the evaluation must still adequately and efficiently evaluate patients for a variety of different uh, etiologies. Although these dizziness symptoms are often related to a benign cause such as a uh, self-limited inner ear problem, for instance, in some cases, uh, dizziness symptoms can represent a more ominous issue, uh, such as a posterior circulation stroke. The ultimate goal of our research is to try to develop uh, an evidence-based way to efficiently and effectively identify uh, high-risk patients from among the millions of patients who present with this common symptom uh, to emergency departments across the country each year. Uh, to begin to shed light on this problem, uh, for the present study, we carefully examined the medical records of 907 consecutive patients uh, presenting to an academic medical center emergency department for evaluation of dizziness over a three-year period. And as a tertiary care center, this uh, emergency department had access to advanced neuroimaging and in-person neurologic consultation uh, 24 hours a day. Uh, we collected information on initial presentation workup an ultimate diagnosis, and each uh, record was reviewed by at least uh, two uh, different neurologists uh, to independently assess and record and assign a final diagnosis. Uh, we wanted to get an estimate of the overall frequency of serious neuro neurologic causes of uh, dizziness that we pre-specified in advance, and also we sought to evaluate what clinical factors might be associated with uh, these uh, serious neurologic outcomes. Our Primary, uh, our principal finding was that uh, dizziness was common, uh, uh, representing uh, just under 1% of all emergency department visits. And it was most commonly due to benign conditions, such as inner ear problems, dehydration, or migraine, which accounted for, again, about 45% of cases. But uh, there were still about 5% of these patients who had a serious neurologic cause for their dizziness symptoms identified, either during the emergency department workup or after a subsequent hospitalization or hospital admission directly from the emergency department. Uh, this included 37 patients out of this 907 who had a cerebral vascular event, such as a stroke or TIA. Uh, turned out that older patients, uh, patients who had uh, imbalance as their primary symptom, and those with uh, focal neurologic findings on neurologic exam were much more likely to ultimately be diagnosed with a more serious etiology, whereas patients with isolated dizziness uh, were less likely to have a serious neurologic cause for their dizziness identified. Our findings uh, corroborate the uh, experience of many in clinical practice, and uh, with this data, uh, we have the potential to provide some objective information on risks of particular serious and non-serious uh, etiologies. Um, since this was a retrospective study, though, there are likely to be some differences in how patients were evaluated and how the findings on examination were documented by the clinicians during these encounters. And therefore, the next steps in this line of inquiry would be to formally evaluate uh, diagnostic strategies and, and clinical predictors uh, in a prospective fashion. In summary, uh, dizziness symptoms are common complaints in the emergency department and are generally due to uh, benign etiologies, but upwards of about 5% of these patients still harbor a serious neurologic cause of dizziness symptoms. And patients that were ultimately diagnosed with, with some of these serious neurologic causes, such as stroke or TIA, uh, were older, had imbalance, and had focal deficits on exam. And this will be the subject of uh, subsequent uh, studies designed to help optimize management for this uh, common symptom. We hope you benefited from this presentation based on the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community.
If you're interested in more information about Mayo Clinic Proceedings, visit our website at www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find additional videos on our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Twitter. For more information on healthcare at Mayo Clinic, please visit www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.